Hi, it's Rob here. This GDS Plus tutorial covers importing assets into GDS Plus. When you launch GDS Plus, you'll see a landing screen asking how you would like to proceed. You can import a .gds plus file if you have one, or you can create an empty scene and later bring in assets. So from the landing screen, I'm going to load an existing GDS file. I'll use this parachute pack as an example. I've already downloaded the pack to my desktop. Now, if I navigate to the file contents, I can find the GDS file in the GDS plus folder. I'm going to select this GDS file, and as you can see, the assets start to load into the scene. Now all the assets are loaded, I'm ready to start editing them. At the landing screen, you don't have to select a GDS file. You can directly import SVG, PNG or GDS Plus files. GDS Plus will automatically create a blank scene for you and include any files you select. Again, with the parachute pack, this time I will navigate to the SVG folder and import some SVG files. I'll select a couple of them and import them into the scene. Imported assets are positioned in the top left of the scene. If you have imported a lot of assets into the scene, it might be awkward to manually drag them to isolated parts of the scene. For a quick tip, you can use the scenes pack function to position the imported assets. Go to scene settings, pack to spread out the assets on the scene. As well as the landing menu, you can use the add scene button on the top left to create a new scene. Once again, the load scene button will accept GDS, PNG and SVG files. Let's take a look at bringing in assets to scenes that have already been created. For this example, instead of importing a GDS file, I'm going to start a new blank scene. I'll just use the presets from the start menu. You can also find more preset scene sizes in the new scene tab. So here I have a new blank scene. I'm going to click on the import from local button and import an asset that I have on my hard drive. Again, I'll import some SVGs from the parachute asset pack. As well as clicking on the button, you can hit the I key to open the import file from local dialog. As you can see, once again, the asset is imported into the scene and positioned in the top left corner. You can use this button to import SVG, PNG and GDS files into any scene. You can import entire GDS scenes into existing scenes. As usual, elements are positioned relative to the top left hand corner. In this video, I'm using the first release of GDS Plus, but in later releases, you will be able to bring in more assets from the GDS Plus library. Currently, there are only a small amount of assets available in the library. But let's take a look at importing an asset directly from the library. To import an asset from the library, hit the library button to open the dialog. You can also use the L key. You'll see a small selection of assets available. To import one of these assets, simply click import. Once downloaded, the asset will appear in the top left of the scene. As I mentioned, there are not many assets here at the moment, but I do have plans to add more assets as well as integrate some assets from your asset library at gamedeveloperstudio.com. So that concludes the tutorial for importing assets into GDS Plus. GDS Plus is a free online browser tool that allows you to modify assets directly to make them fit any of your projects. If you want to test it out, you can grab some free asset packs from Game Developer Studio and try it now. A link's in the description. Thanks for watching.